We want to take a look at graphing a rational function. Here we're giving a rational function g of x equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 divided by the quantity 2x squared minus 1. It'll be helpful first to take a look at this rational function in factored form. The numerator is indeed factorable. 2x times x for the x squared, 1 times 1 for the 1. My denominator is also factorable. Notice there is no constant term in the denominator. That means there's going to be a greatest common factor. Factoring out that GCF, I notice there is a like factor in the numerator and in the denominator. First thing we want to take a look at is, are there any vertical asymptotes? Those vertical asymptotes should occur whenever the denominator is equal to zero. But because here we have one factor that divides out, I know my first factor, x, will definitely cause an asymptote when x is equal to zero. However, the second factor, 2x minus 1, will divide out what that's going to cause instead when we solve 2x minus 1 equals 0, so 2x is 1, x is 1 half. Because this divided out, we have a hole in our graph. This will not be an asymptote. Our graph will behave as if those numbers had divided numbers had divided out. So it will behave like the function x minus 1 over x, whatever results once we do that division. One vertical asymptote and one hole in our graph so far. We still want to know, are there any horizontal asymptotes? Now looking at my first graph, we're always concerned with the degree of the numerator and denominator. In our case, the degree of the numerator is exactly equal to the degree of the denominator. So we know we can find a horizontal asymptote by dividing out, by dividing out the leading coefficients, 2 divided by 2. Notice we expected it to behave like x minus 1 over x. Well, 1 divided by 1 is still 1. So we know we have a horizontal asymptote when y is equal to 1. New question, do we have any zeros in our graph? A fraction is 0 only when the numerator is 0. So here I can just take a look at the numerator x minus 1. We already know the 2x minus 1 would only cause that whole. So I will have a value of 0, a horizontal intercept, an x-intercept, when x is equal to 1. We looked at the asymptotes, we looked at the whole, we looked at the horizontal asymptote and the zeros. One more thing we can look at, are there any y-intercepts? In this case, how do I find a vertical intercept? It only occurs where x equals 0. But you know, f of 0 is going to be undefined. If you plug into either form, the original, or what we know it'll behave like, we had x by itself as a factor in the denominator. So I cannot use the value 0. That's where our vertical, our vertical intercept was anyway. So there is no y-intercept on this graph. There is no vertical intercept at all. Finally, what would we expect the end behavior of this graph to look like? In this case, we have an odd degree in our denominator, so we should expect opposite end behavior. Should not be a surprise if you think about the graph of 1 over x, it has opposite behavior on both sides anyway. But now we want to take a look at what this graph might resemble. We're now ready to graph this equation. We know we had an asymptote, a vertical asymptote, 
where x was equal to zero. So my y-axis behaves as my vertical asymptote. We had a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to one. And so already, I'm liking the way this looks, it's very much what I expected. Now we found an x-intercept at one. Remember, one over x curled opposite ends on both sides. We also had a zero when x was equal to a half. So I expect my function to be bounded by these asymptotes, but when x equals a half, I'm going to have an empty spot, a hole in my graph, happens to be located at the y value of negative 1. So there's my graph with my hole. I expect opposite end behavior, so the other side of the graph, the left side, would be on the opposite side of the asymptote. So we have our complete graph. And keep in mind, this looks a lot like the graph of x minus 1 over x, but it is not. This one has a hole, which was caused by that term that divided out. It happened where the x value was 1 half, the y value was negative 1, and so we have now our complete sketch of the graph.